What is going on guys? Raja back again on OTR Gaming TV and this time Ubisoft is back at it again. They took down my second video within a week and giving me my second um, copyright strike. Now I'm not pissed. Basically I don't know if you guys um, saw the video. There was literally literally 0 0.02 seconds of the footage revealed one of my subscribers messaged me on twitter and they caught it they saw it they said it basically what it was is i showed the rims that were being customized on the mustang and i said that there's 83 rims on the mustang and they oh my god i can't believe it because that that little point point two second clip was towards the end of the video not even towards the end it was like you know when it's in the middle so that's how you know the people at ubisoft are watching my channel watching my crew two videos now obviously I didn't want to do it, but I wanted to show some of you guys who don't believe me that it's there. And for those of you that were quick enough to to glance the point two seconds of the Mustang rims, you would have been you would have seen it. But the guy, um, obviously, a lot of you been asking me to message you on Facebook and Twitch, so I seen one of the guy replying, and he's seen it. And obviously, I saw the video today, and I, and I got the copyright strike again today. And I'm like, why Ubisoft? Why? You know, they're after my channel, man. There's so many bigger YouTubers out there, but they're after me anyway. I mean, I know why they're after me. So I'm going to show you something else as well. Like, I've got a message from the actual developer I'm going to show you. Um, right, so he was telling me that, um, basically, uh, he said, I wanted to, he goes, hey, Raja, I wanted to reach out to you because I noticed that a couple of your recent YouTube and Twitch videos about the crew team were taken down. And I wanted to shed some light as to why this happened. Um, the footage was shown in these videos are from early tests that only a very limited number of players had access to. Now, obviously, they don't know that I know a lot of people and I can get these footages. So, obviously, they're going to be doing some internal investigation within Ubisoft. I don't know or whatnot and how the footage got leaked out. But it got leaked out and I got people, so it's all right. And then, anyway, so they're saying... Um, uh, da, 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 and, and okay, so some of the features and content shown were not final and may have changed considerably since, as considerably since. So, as such, sharing footage of it could spread false information, which I get what they're saying. But do you guys understand that when I spread this information, I always say it's alpha, alpha, alpha. The beta is not out yet, the game could be different. But this is what I see, this is the info that I'm telling my people, my subscribers, this is the info, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, anyway. You guys can read the whole of the thing. You know, the big thing. I never signed the NDA agreement, and they know that I'm excited about the crew too, and and they want they want to see what I show them after the crew too. Now, my response is also in the video. You see it, and I'm just telling them that you know I appreciate what they're saying, but when I when I reached out to them, when I when when the crew one was blowing up, and I reached out to them, they never really helped us. They never helped us. So, you know, what I'm saying they want me to stop right now when when my my YouTube is blowing up. I don't think so, but I learned my lesson. No more leaked footage being shown. However, um, if you follow us on Facebook, before they take that shit down, follow us on Facebook and see what we put on Facebook. I don't want to sh you know, shed no more footage, but you guys got to believe me when I say now that I have the leaked footage. Now, the video that we were talking about was about customization. Now, as you can see, look, they took it down. You know, and I got a lot of comments, guys. I'll show you now. So, you know, look, this is my um, other video. Where they took down my apartment footage, so I made this video saying they took it out, give me a copyright strike, and then I've got a lot of comments from pretty look like, from people, from you know look that the, this I can't reply to these comments no more guys. This is the video that was taken down. So look one two three, four five six seven eight nine ten ten comments. I would have eleven twelve thirteen fourteen, fifteen sixteen seven. Oh my god. Okay okay. These are all the comments that I could not reply to, which came in about yesterday, seventeen hours ago. Yeah. So I tried. I, I was gonna reply to them. I replied to everybody on Facebook and Twitch who not Twitch, sorry, Facebook and Twitter who DM me and asked me for footage. I got you. You just have to believe me. I, I literally asked those people, they're probably gonna be commenting on this video anyway, but ask those people as well. I, I did give out the info. If you if you're trying to reach out to me, I'm a I'm a YouTuber, I'm gonna reach out to you as well. Now, um what I'm gonna do is I've got some more information about the customization in the crew too. Now we're gonna like continue with the topic of this video so got a copyright strike that's fine but now we're going to talk about the customization now in my video i was going through you know i'm going to put that video up again except for this time i'm going to take out that point two footage of the rims I'm just going to move it and then just post it so you guys can see that towards the end of this video 
So that's the main phase. Now, the additional thing that I wanted to add, because obviously now I've got so much more information, and I had another, another subscriber that gave me two other leaked footages. Now, I got those footages as well. They're fucking beautiful. I've seen them myself, right? And I was wrong about two things. No. One thing. So those of you that were waiting for um, live recustomization, yes, it's in there. I've seen the footage now. So um, my boy, Tire Slayer, who's also a YouTuber, he was asking about it. And yes, Tire Slayer, if you're listening, and anyone else is listening, you can do custom, custom vinyl editor. You can do that, right? You, you're able to do that now. Um... I've seen footage of it now because obviously I was replying to all my all the people that DM me on Twitter and Facebook and, and one guy specifically gave me two videos. One explaining that you know explaining, he just showed me like it's there, it's the game, and then you've got your pre-made vinyls, like in the crew one, and then they're working with this because I could see you know there was some it was like a conference call. They're working on it, they so they're tweaking it. It might not be out in the in the main game, but it's there. So you have got vinyl editing in there confirmed it's in there a million percent for those of you that want to see screenshots dm me i'm not showing no more footage on youtube ubisoft easy easy i might show some on facebook though so facebook is different completely different follow us on facebook otr gaming tv facebook page um, another thing was um you could change the rim size so you can't change the right height but you can change the rim size you can have bigger rims in there fucking amazing guys that's what i'm gonna say two two new things now you can have library editors so you can make your own libraries and you can have the templates if you're lazy the old old ones from the crew and now you can change the room size so those are the two things everything else i talked about in the video was on point just i got new information now and i'm going to put those videos on facebook so watch out for those videos on facebook but yeah so no more leak footage on youtube or twitch but catch us on facebook and twitter DM me there for more info. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell. And I'll catch you guys in the next YouTube video. Peace. Yo, what is going on, guys? This is Raja, and we're back again with another Crew 2 video. Now, um, before I even start, I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers that have been smashing the like button and subscribing on my other videos, specifically the houses ones and the ones that the Ubisoft took down, the leaked footage. Now, as you guys know, I do have the leaked footage with me. So I'm not allowed to show you the footage because obviously Ubisoft will give me a, um, a copyright strike like before But I can watch the footage and tell you exactly what I see So in this video, we're going to be talking about customizations in the crew too Now before even before we even begin, let me just say that there is a lot that you can customize in the crew too But it is still similar to what you can customize in the crew one so Like I showed you guys in the leaked footage video where your car is parked inside your apartment and then there's a wall right there, right next to the outfit. That is where you're able to customize your cars. Now, I don't know if that's a tune-up shop or it's just where you unlock parts and you can have to go back to your apartment to install the parts because that is exactly where the car is being customized in the apartment. So, it's the basic things that you can customize, guys. Right, I'm literally watching the footage, guys. I can't show you. I wish I could show you the footage, guys. I wish I could show you, but at the moment, I can't show you it. So you start off with this Mustang, right? And, and straight away, I can see it says M31 wide body. So you can throw on some wide body kits in there. Now, there's 30 front bumpers. 30 front bumpers, on specifically on this um, Mustang. Now, it could vary from car to car, obviously, right? But like it did in the crew, like it did in the original crew, like some cars had a lot of things you can customize and some cars didn't. So the front bumpers, there's 30 front bumpers on this Mustang specifically. And you do have wide body. So wide body kit is confirmed, right? And then as you do, as you guys know, when you change the front bumper, let me see. Yeah, so does the headlights. The headlights also change just like they do in the crew one. So what I'll do is I'll show you parallel footage. So I'll show you what's in the crew one, the first game. And I'll show you the similarities and what, whatnot. So instead of showing you the footage, which I can see, and unfortunately I can't show you, I can't even show you screenshots, guys, because Ubisoft are on my case. But I'm going to still show you and tell you guys what I see. So 30 front bumpers. You've got, again, you can't change the rear front, the, the front fender and the rear fender. Again, similar to how it was in the crew. You're not able to change those, only on certain cars. Even though I can't remember any car in the crew where you can change the front or rear fender. But it's like basically when you put on a wide body kit, it just changes the rear fender. 
and the front fender but it doesn't actually shout it doesn't allow you to change it so this one it says one out of one clearly you can't change your front and rear fender moving on all right rims now they have a large large collection of rims guys i can clearly see that this game has 83 rims specifically for the mustang now when i say specific i mean because we're looking at the mustang i'm looking at the mustang right now guys and i can't really like tell because there's no footage of any other car in this leaked footage that i'm watching right now but there's 83 rims so it's not just for this car i'm pretty sure you can put 83 rims on on all of the cars of course it, it depends on the spec of the car so if you've got like a dirt spec or off-road spec you know the rims will change but for now i can see it says one out of 83 rims now let me keep it's 11 parts you can customize that's it so the front bumper is one of them right that's the second feature then you got front fender yeah similar to the crew guys yeah 11 things like in the crew okay i'm gonna show you side by side what i'm talking about guys right now you got rims 83 rims in this there's some nice rims and you can change the caliper color so you can change the brake calipers guys you're able to that was not in the in the crash crew that was not in there so you are able to change the brake caliper colors okay and there's a lot of colors for that guys a lot of colors it's nice actually looks beautiful and then you have side mirrors you can change your side mirrors thank god you know that's also part of the crew so carbon and normal is in this one side skirts you can also say change your sky side skirts in this game as well not much option though on this mustang could be different for different cars which i, I think it is anyway again rear fender you can't change shit. and the rear wing now this mustang has five rear wings in the crew again in the crew you're able to choose different rear wings on the car depending on the car so i'm gonna show you examples so i'm gonna show you one car right now depending what car it is and then i'm gonna show you another car so like i'll show you my um let me show you my lamborghini right because lamborghini has pretty much a lot of customization so you can have a lot of rear wings on this you know and then i'm gonna show you my um la ferrari there's not that much of an option to be honest ferrari don't let you customize so i'll even show you another car let's just show an i'll show you the mustang actually the mustang gt so as you can see there is quite a few options in the Mustang, but in the Crew 2, the footage I'm looking at, there's only five rear wing options, so yeah, let me keep going. So if most of you guys are asking about libraries, you cannot, there's not crazy, crazy vinyl customizations, right? So you know how we have Need for Speed Payback, or I don't know if Forza does it, so I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to stick to Need for Speed. So you know how you got crazy vinyl creation in Need for Speed Payback? There's none of that in the crew too. You have pre-made, already built libraries. So I'm going to show you an example of the bolt. Right, this bolt, it says King on it. This King vinyl was from the Crew 1. Now in the Crew, the original game, the Crew 1, there was already built vinyl. So you had like racing stripes and a bit of tribal flags. Um, what else did you have? Uh, Ubisoft one, so like from official games, you had a lot. You had I want to show you them right now, guys. But you have you had a lot of vinyls, but they were the ones that were already created, and they do not look good on every car. I'll be honest with you guys. Most of my cars don't have a vinyl on it. However, some cars it does suit. It does suit the the vinyls do suit the cars. They, you know, they, but they already created, so it doesn't allow everyone to get all crazy with their customizations. Now I think there's two reasons they've done this. Number one, it's just too much effort. They wouldn't, they couldn't be asked. So they just copy and pasted all the vinyls from the crew one and added a few more to the crew two, right? And the second is, I think it will cause too much lag in a lot in a game that this big, where you have too many vinyls on a car. Because I remember Midnight Club, it will cause the, some of the games to freeze. And Midnight Club was not as big as this game, meaning the map wise. And I don't think, I think the game will keep crashing every time someone has crazy amount of vinyls on it. Those are the two reasons why I think they never allowed crazy vinyls but it's confirmed it's already built in already created um vinyls that you can put on your car so for those of you that are all creative and stuff you can technically still be creative with the colors and combination and then put a little vinyl on it but you can't customize it to the max meaning you can't place it you can't move it around it's already like fixed it's already there now so like customization wise that's pretty much it's pretty much basic guys it's not you know it's not in crazy you can't you can do everything you can in the crew and a little bit more but you can't like do um 
yeah, there's no vinyls. That's that's what I'm kind of pissed about. Because with vinyls, guys, you can, you're able to change the look of a car completely. You can make a normal car look like a convertible. I remember we used to do that. But you are able to change the interior color. Again, the crew, sorry, Need for Speed didn't have that, but the crew did have that. So interior, you're able to change pretty much everything you can do in the crew, guys, you can do in the crew too. I'll show you guys footage side by side anyway, so you guys can see. Again, I wish I could show you the footage that I'm watching right now, which is leaked apart, which, uh, sorry, which is leaked customization footage. But it's all here. You know, you can customize the license plate as well. So out of the 11 things you guys see on my screen right now, which I'll be showing the crew, is everything you can customize in the crew too. This also means you are not able to lower the car, which is BS. You can't have stance car meets. You just can't lower the car, guys. I mean, I'm not really going to cry about that, but I like lowering my cars in Need for Speed Payback. So I was just hoping, you know, we could have some of that, but we don't. So there you have it, guys. So I've shown you apartment leaked footage. I've shown, well, I'm showing you this, but it's not really, I'm not showing you the footage. I can't show you the footage because I keep getting copyright strikes from Ubisoft on both YouTube and Twitter. On my leak footage anyway but most of you have been asking what what can you customize in the crew to like what stuff are you able to customize on a car so there you have it you got front bumpers rear bumpers front you can't really customize the front and rear fender but they're there side skirt side mirrors wings interior and a new thing that's been added in the crew to is the color of the brake calipers which I'm pretty sure you could not customize. Yeah, no, no, I'm 100% sure you can't customize that in the crew. The brake calipers would only change to the color of the car. So if you had a gold car, there would be gold brake calipers. But in the crew too, you can change the colors of that. Now, does this mean that they won't be adding libraries and vinyl editor? No. The game, this is alpha footage, guys. We're not even out. We're, the beta is not even out yet. So I could become, they could have already added these things in yet. But... With the way I'm going with my research and the way Ubisoft is reacting, I think what I'm saying, most of the stuff I'm saying is 100% on point. So, yeah, guys, for those of you who've been waiting for the crew too, customization-wise, yeah, there is customization. Not crazy, crazy, but there's some stuff there. You customize in your apartment, right? I can see the whole screen. It's crazy. Like, it's, it's beautiful. It says the name of the car in the background. So, I'm looking at a Mustang Fastback 2015 in red. Yeah, I wish I could show you guys exactly what I can see, but I can't, unfortunately. I can also see what car manufacturers are exactly in the crew, too. But I'll make a different video for that. I wish I could show you guys the video, guys. I wish, I wish, I wish. But Crew 2, I mean, sorry, Ubisoft is on my case. They've given me a copyright strike on this and on Twitch. But make sure you guys hit that like button. I have, I have got the leaked footage, so hit that subscribe button and that notification. But anytime there's a Crew 2 video out, you know it's 100% real. I'm watching it right now. But... To stay up to date with the crew too, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe button, share this video with your friends, let people know what's happening in the crew too, it's going to be a big game guys, it's going to be a big game. I do also have some bad news I need to share as well, again I'll be making another video on that, there is some bad news about the crew too. So stay tuned and I'll catch you guys in the next video, peace. <laughs>